these forests. They've been growing there for at least 65 million years. It's like you are in another world. And that's what we're here for today, to save the little that's left of this sort of magnificence. Part warrior, part man of peace, but always committed to a cause. He's not out to make money. He's not out for his power or possessions. He's there because he has a spiritual connection with that forest, then he's willing to fight for it. We are here to stop destruction, to exhibit love, and to put things right. We were ready to fight for the Franklin in a way that the Petta people hadn't been. It's like a whole subterranean train network all humming around and buzzing, and we have no sense of that when we walk through the forest. I came out of jail one day. The next day, I was elected into Parliament. The worst nightmare of the major parties had become a reality. There's no doubt that people felt like he had no place to be in Parliament. A gay man and then women, women turned up. It was an incredible baptism by fire. Oh, well, I've had shots fired in my direction. Vigilantes come in the night. It was a complete embarrassment, not only to yourself, but to the Australian people. I thought I was on my own for the rest of my life. How wrong I was. The story of life is a story of daring leaps across species boundaries. You can't go to the shop and just get the forest in a flat pack. For him to grow the way he did was remarkable, absolutely remarkable. 